There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand oh. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR As you guys can see, we are still rocking LAPD As you guys can see, we're going to be rocking the FPIS made by Leo. The link will be down in the description below it actually comes with two vehicles guys it comes with this fpis and it comes with the uh, crash gang unit version which is the same one except that it's slick top as you guys can see we're gonna be rocking the lapd black bdu uh uniform i actually made this myself this is the actual uniform that lapd is actually using right now uh, i'll go ahead and insert a picture right here so you can see that this is what they're using i try to make it identical as i can uh, the only difference is that they actually for the badge they have a patch some of the officers actually wear their uh, actual badge, but some of them have a patch. Um, I couldn't put a patch on this one due to the fact that it looked all wonky and, and dumb. Um, but this uniform is actually the K9 version in the EUP, the short sleeve version. And uh, I took away the uh, LS or Los Santos K9 police and I put L, uh, Los Angeles police patch on it. I put police patch in the back and then I worked on the uh, pocket sleeve. For it to say Los Angeles Police and as well as my last name on the uh, other side. Um, as you guys can see uh, as well, I have a uh, Los Angeles Police badge that I actually did. And I'm thinking about putting it on LSPDFR, uh, the website. So you guys can go ahead and download it if you guys want it. Um, I try to look for a uh, LAPD badge to replace the, the LSPD one and I couldn't find one. I did find one and I really didn't like it. I didn't like the shape of it. So I decided to make my own and this is the end results guys. Um, so if you guys like it, I'll go ahead and uh, let me know in the comment below and I'll go ahead and upload it onto uh, LSPDFR.com. And um, if, you, if you're on my Discord, my Discord will have first dips on the badge if you want it. Um, and then I'll go ahead and uh, post it up, uh, the link everywhere. So yeah guys that that's what's uh the deal with the badge but this is the actual uniform we're going to be using for a while for the rest of the patrols this is what we're going to be using uh once again there is two types of badges there's this one without the silver nameplate and then there's the other one with the silver nameplate uh they both say rodriguez i'll go ahead and leave it blank or put a generic last name uh so you guys can go ahead and use it uh, but yeah guys so that's where we're going to be getting into today uh, as well as it's going to be an early morning shift. Uh, it's going to be it's about five in the morning. Um, so people are barely waking up. People are still acting stupid on the streets. But if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like, guys. Subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want and only want, press that notification bell to get alerted every time I upload a video, guys. With that being said, let's go ahead and just get right on to it. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the lighting system on this FPIS. It's, this FPIS is so so badass i love this one just as much as i did with the charger a uh, big shout out to kaleo for doing the vehicle actually um spot on stage one we have your traffic advisors in the back nothing in the front stage two you got your steady red and blue lights in the front still traffic advisors in the back and then stage three you got your lights your wig wags in the back your full light bar on and you got wig wags in the front as well as some red and blue in the headlights um and that's about it guys the speedometer on this FPIS works as well, just like as in the Charger. Uh, the NBC is exactly like the LAPD one. So, like I said, big shout out to him for actually getting that down um, and putting that much detail into the vehicle. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get on to it, guys. One link 18, go ahead and show me 1041 tonight. Roger, one Lincoln, eight two patrol area. Whoa. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and pull over this vehicle for failure to signal actually and uh for basically cutting me off. <clears throat> well, T, can I get a play check? Zero one Frank David Victor one three two. Suspect license plate zero one Frank oh, David shit. Victor one three two. A warrant issued. Proceed with caution. All right, so there's a warrant for the owner of the vehicle. 118, go ahead and show us traffic stop with that vehicle. We're going to be northbound off the street off of Clinton Avenue. It's going to be a black two-door sports vehicle. Occupy times one. 10 4, one Lincoln, 18. Approach with caution. Let's go ahead and... Uh, so it's not stolen. Registration and insurance is valid. Comes back to a Frank 
Khan. He has a uh, an arrest warrant for criminal trespassing. All right, so it's nothing that violent or actually violent at all. We're going to go ahead and just uh, get him out of the car. If it's him. Uh, how's it going, buddy? Have you license registration proof insurance for me? Get from. Yep, Frank. Appreciate on. it. All right, Frank, go ahead and do me a favor. Step out of the vehicle for me. Frank, go ahead and turn around for me. Wow, hold up. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. You ain't never getting out of prison. All right, Frank, right now you're being placed under arrest, all right? There's a warrant out for your arrest. All right, I'm going to go ahead and place no, it over here so we don't get hit by a vehicle. Way. All right, Frank, so here's the deal, man. So initially, we, we uh, went ahead and pulled you over due to the fact that you failed to signal when you got back on the main street, all right? Hey, Which it, uh, it caused to almost me running into you. Um, so that's another thing. You cut me off. That's the reason why we're here in, in this traffic stop. Another thing is that when I ran your name, your plate number, and all that, it comes back that you have a uh, warrant out for uh, criminal trespassing, all right? So <clears throat> with that being said, man, do you have anything on you that's going to uh, stick me, poke me, stab me at all whatsoever? Let's see if he has anything on him. You don't? Okay. You don't have any uh, narcotics on you then? If I do, I forgot about them a long time ago. All right. Any weapons? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, actually, I do. All right. So, do you have anything illegal in the vehicle before we go ahead and search it? I sure hope not to. Oh, okay, not. Okay. Do you have any narcotics at all whatsoever? I haven't been out that. I haven't been about that life in a long time ago. Okay. Any weapons either? I really hope not. Okay. Go ahead and turn around for me, man. All right, so he's got sunglasses and a baggie of blue crystals. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, search the vehicle real quick. See if he's got anything in the vehicle. Uh, McDonald's bag, a kitchen knife, and a beach towel. That's about it. We're gonna go ahead and just uh, test the blue crystals. Let's see what they come back to. Somebody's just cussing up storm back there we're gonna go ahead and test the blue crystals we're gonna go straight with uh meth bingo all right we're gonna go ahead and just uh working on his arrest report now <clears throat> go ahead it's gonna be frank con criminal trespassing so it's gonna be a uh, warrant for Criminal trespassing, if I could find it. Um, somewhere right here. Or not. Uh, I guess they won't. They don't have it. What would there be a... A warrant out for that if there isn't really any... Charges to charge them with. Um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and do non-violent crimes. Um, and as far as narcotics, he had some meth on him. That's about it. So we're going to go ahead and just, uh, submit the charges. Call a transport, a tow truck, and it will be good. Only 18 requesting transport. required in all right man uh, all right frank you're gonna be charged wood. with uh the warrant that you have for criminal trespassing as well you're gonna be charged with possession of meth all right so transport should be here for you so they're here already are they detectives detectives that can't drive for crap yeah it's straight in the suit are they really picking them up? Oh, wow. Yep, they're actual detectives. Detectives driving a marked unit. That is something else. Here you go, guys. 
He's all yours. We're going to go ahead and uh, probably go a little forward because these detectives can't drive for crap. One of the team requesting 1185. So we're going to have a small tow truck come pick up the vehicle. Detective actually got the suspect. So the tow truck is coming from up there, I believe. Um, yep, there, there it is. Let's go ahead and go, partner. So detective got the suspect. Tow truck is here for the vehicle. We'll go ahead and get out of here. One of the team going to show us code 4 back tonight. Attention to report. One of the team going to show us responding. Roger that. We're on our way. One, right, so we get a new one call of uh, somebody complaining uh, or somebody saying states a male subject is around the area acting suspiciously met with a male possibly buying drugs. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go ahead and respond to code 2. I guess the RP is stating that this individual is out there uh, buying drugs or anything in that sense. So we're going to go ahead and respond to it. Code 2, it's going to be right here actually. Let's go ahead and see if we find anybody acting weird. Only 18, go ahead and show us on scene. Can't be him, can it? Copy that. One, Lincoln, 18. Approach with caution. One eighty two going to show us uh, out with the white male, black shirt, blue shorts, and sandals. We're going to be facing eastbound off of Power Street. Hey, how's it going, boss? You fucking know it. I've had a call about somebody acting suspiciously. I totally uh, okay. agree. Uh, what are you doing out here today? I'm just waiting for a friend. Okay. Damn. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so you're just waiting for a friend? Alright, man. You mind if uh, I see your ID I'm real quick? The wrong one, but none of this shit is right. I just yeah. want to know who I'm talking to. Get flump. Thanks. Alright, Mr. Porter, go ahead and just hang tight with my partner real quick, alright? I'm going to go ahead and run his name real quick. Time to pay your taxes. Uh, Mr. Porter has a uh, warrant out for street racing, causing. Bodily injury. He's got priors for fraudulent use, manipulation of electrical device or electric device, street racing, mayhem with violence, uh, nighttime burglary. All right. So he lives on Cassidy Trail. He is far away from home. Some days, the man ain't just looking at you, man. That's doctor. All right, Mr. Porter, go ahead and do me a favor. Go ahead and turn around for me. Place, place your hands behind your back. You ain't never getting out of prison. Go ahead and get him, buddy. All right, Mr. Porter, here's the deal, all right? You do have a warrant out for your arrest. All right, do you have anything that's going to sick me, poke me, stab me at all whatsoever? Let's see what he says. No officer. All right, any uh, narcotics on you? No, I have nothing to hide. All right, any weapons? No, the, the one I did have it on the rooftop. Okay. All right, man. Just hang tight for me real quick, all right? Don't move. Don't make any sudden movements. A crack pipe, pepper spray, keys. And, okay. One eighteen requesting transport. Assistance required in uh. So we're gonna go ahead and just work on his arrest report. Now that we're already here. Um. So he has a, an arrest warrant for. Um, street racing, uh, causing that bodily gone, uh, injury was gone. or injuries or some shit like that. Uh, so that once again, there's nothing in that sense right there. So we're going to go ahead and try to find something, um, that is similar to that since they don't have it, uh, leaving the scene of an accident. It's not manslaughter. So I can't get him with manslaughter. Um, may, it's not making him with violence. No Fleeing the police. No. We're going to go ahead and just get him with... Uh, where is it at? Um, I'm, 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 I'm leaving the scene of an accident, I guess. I don't know. 
And then he did have drug paraphernalia, so we're going to get him with that as well. Um, we'll go ahead and put it in the notes. Uh, warrant for street racing with injuries. Then crack pipe. So we're gonna go ahead and put possession of crack pipe. There you go. Submit charges. Wait for transport to get here and they can go ahead and take them. Is that them? No, it's not them. I don't know why they're coming for call three. Let's pick up somebody else. <laughs> So they're right there. Come on, buddy. Jesus, sometimes these people. Go ahead and walk them over there. All right, Mr. Parker, you're going in uh, for the warrant you got for your arrest and as well as the track pipe. Here you go, buddy. All yours. No way. Go ahead, get out of here. Maggot. Walling 18, go ahead and show us code 4 back 10 8. Alright, let's get back to it, guys. Attention, all units. Code 4, no additional support needed. Got uh, a criminal resisting. Walling 18, show us responding. East Vinewood. 10 4, copy. 1, Lincoln 18. Alright, so we got uh, our ALPR systems actually picked up a vehicle of a suspect that was uh, resisting arrest previously, so gonna be a red list though. We're gonna go ahead and try to make contact with the vehicle. Oh, there it is right there. Rolling in team, I got the vehicle. I see the perp. We're in pursuit. Rolling in team, terminating pursuit. GPS tracker has been implanted. Go ahead and show me 10-8. Roger that. Walling 18, go ahead and show me code 6. I'll be waiting for the uh, driver of the red blister to actually come to its location. Acknowledged. 1, Lincoln 18. Alright, so all we could do now is just wait for the driver to reach its location and uh, make an arrest. So for now, we'll go ahead and just uh, try to trail the vehicle from a distance. Alright, so it looks like the vehicle came to its final location in Mirror Park. We're gonna go ahead and try to just creep up up there and see what's going on. One Lincoln 18, go ahead and show me Bridge Street in Mirror Park. The vehicle is in front of a residence. Acknowledged. Now returning to the station. Go ahead and show me Code 6 on Bridge Street in Mirror Drive. Go ahead and send me Code 3 backup. That one Lincoln 18. We're gonna go ahead and just park back here. Wait for code three backup. One AT requesting code three backup. Assistance needed in uh, Mirror Park. All right, let's go. They're here. Victor 13, we're at the little coffee shop around the corner. Let me see some hands, guys. Watch out, partner. Watch out, partner. Watch out, partner. Hands. Ooh, we got shots fired. Shots fired. Let's clear the weapons, guys. Jesus. This guy had like an MP5. Clear the weapons. It's fucking weird. What the hell is that? Oh, he had an AP pistol. One eighteen requesting EMS. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just wait for EMS now. Assistance required in. 
they shoot the car? Yeah, they managed to get uh, shoot the car. Oh, so we got EMS on scene now. So one of the reasons why they didn't go on grammar police and said uh, shots fired is because they send everybody and their mothers, and it's just it becomes very chaotic. Fuck. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for uh, EMS to work on the bodies. Uh, let's see who survived. We got four individuals down. Go ahead and Stay run the plate calm. real quick. I can save you. One eighteen requesting plate check zero five Mary John Union three nine five. License plate zero five Jasmine Mary John Roach. Union three nine or five. We're gonna go and run the plate real quick to get a uh, get something on the actual driver. She's valid, she wasn't part of any of this, so I don't even know who the hell was driving it. Let's go ahead and just search the vehicle real quick. I bought a Percocet, empty baggie of black powder residue, and a samurai sword. All right. We're going to go ahead and do something unrealistic right now, guys. We got to go ahead and get rid of some of this because it's, it's a big shit show right now. There you go. That's good enough. That's good enough. We're going to go ahead and just stop traffic. All right, so that guy survived. They're going to go ahead and take him. And uh, we'll go ahead and let EMS work on the bodies, and I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys, so EMS actually pronounced two suspects dead, and then uh, two of them survived. So uh, LAFD took two of the suspects back to the hospital, and then we have two that actually are deceased. What the hell? Seriously? Out of the car now. Out of the car. On your knees. On your knees now. You gotta be one dumbass person, I swear to God. Don't move. You piece of shit! Give it up! Seriously. We're over here trying to close the case. And you do something stupid like that. Wow. You are so dumb. You know that? You're wearing purple. You must be part of the ballas. You have to be part of the ballas. ballas. You have to. We're going to go ahead and put them in front of my car. We're going to call a tow truck for this one. 118 requesting 1185. All right, so we got a tow truck actually coming for this vehicle. We're going to go ahead and question this guy real quick. What are you doing, man? I have the right to shut the fuck up. I mean, at this point, you might as well. You just did something so stupid right in front of us. Where are you coming from? From work? All right, where were you going to go? Going to your friend's home? Okay. Alright, let's see if they had got any like gang questions or anything like that. Um, this is a stolen vehicle, alright. I don't think they have anything. Observe. Uh, okay, no. They don't have anything about gangs or who they affiliated with or anything like that. Um, Yeah, I wish it did. Fighting and assault, passenger traffic stop, domestic violence. No, they don't. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just ask him for his... Uh... All right, man. Do you have any weapons on you at all whatsoever? Is this an illegal search? It feels like an illegal search. No, dude. You're actually under arrest. Do you have any narcotics? No, ain't... Dude, shut up. Don't be screaming. All right? Do you have anything that's going to take me, poke me, or stab me at all whatsoever? I'm already going to jail, so why should I tell... Dude, go ahead and turn around for me. Attitude on me. Turn around. Unmarked pills, a baggie of brown powder, a pack of cigarettes, and a pulse card, and a uh, zippo lighter. Derek Mills. We're going to go ahead and just run his name real quick.
Derek Mills. Arrest warrant for accessory after the fact. He's been arrested for possession of Oxycontin. So we're going to go ahead and just work in his arrest report as well. Actually, no, not yet. We got some stuff that we found on him. So we're going to go ahead and just run some field tests on him and then hit him with the, uh, the arrest report. So unmarked pills. Wait, is that what he had on him? I still have the stuff from the vehicle. Hold on. I don't want to mark. I don't want to charge him with stuff that he doesn't belong to him. I'm going to search him real quick again. Because I still have the inventory from the, uh, the blista. He's got unmarked pills and a baggie of brown powder. Okay. We'll go ahead and open up traffic now. Let's go ahead and start testing uh, what we found on him. Unmarked pills. We're going to go straight to uh, fentanyl. Positive for fentanyl. Okay, and then a bag of brown powder. We're going to go straight to heroin. All right. Maybe meth? No. Uh, we'll go with marijuana. Wow. PCP. Last but not least, is it going to be two counts of fentanyl? Oh my god. Cocaine? Last but not least, definitely this time. Wow. So the bag of brown powder is actually no narcotics at all whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and just charge him now. So he's got an, a warrant out for uh, ex accessory after the... Let's see if they have it. Accessory after the fact. Once again, they don't have that. I don't know why they don't have it. I don't know why they get issued that type of warrant when they don't have the actual warrant in here. So we're going to go ahead and charge them with, um, where is it? Non-violent. Uh, non-violent crimes. And then we're going to get them with possession of fentanyl. I believe it's going to be schedule two. All right there. Then we're going to get them with, uh, Breaking and entering of a vehicle. And he did start up the vehicle. So we're going to get him with... Uh, um, shit. Attempted Grand Theft Auto. There you go. And that's it for him. We're going to go ahead and call transport for him. 118 requesting transport. Required. We'll go ahead and wait for transport. Which they should be here any minute now. Here they come. Should we call the insurance for that vehicle? Hey. Uh, we'll go ahead and just leave it. Let's go, partner. All right, that's going to be it. One link 18, go ahead and show us code six. Roger, one link 18. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for the love and support you guys have been showing. Let me go ahead and show you guys the court cases, something that you guys really like. Um, that's the reason why I leave everything on this episode. So you guys can see the court cases since that's what you guys really really like um so i don't know when i believe these are not part of today no so we're gonna go ahead and just cancel these right here so we're gonna we got frank con right here uh i got for a warrant for i don't know what uh non-violent crimes and possession of meth he got a total of five years in prison um then we have cornelius porter uh, warrant for street racing with injuries and uh, possession of a crack pipe. Um, so he got a total of no prison time. Wow, they let they actually let go of the uh, paraphernalia. 
Um, and then we got the last but not least, our idiot of the week, Derek Mills, deciding to steal a car right in front of us. Uh, warrant for um, accessory after the fact, possession of fentanyl, attempted grand theft auto, and breaking and entering to a vehicle. He got a total of three years, six months in prison, and a total fine of $1,647, guys. And there is a plane flying by my house, as you guys can hear it. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it. But guys, thank you guys so much for loving the support you guys have been showing. If you guys did like this video and enjoy this video, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want only want. Hit that notification bell, guys, to get alerted every time I upload a video, guys. With that being said, we are closer to 5K, guys. We are about, I believe, 40 subscribers away. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for loving the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You're fine.